on board, here boy. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits. Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. You should just give up being a hero, Deku. Before you get hurt. As Bakugo and his goons leave. And Izuku is crying to himself, beaten down by his friends. Hmm. Well, he seems to be with a piece of work. Izuku's like, wait, who said that? Is I did, of course. Who? Me. Who are you? Uh, where, are you? where are you? I'm in your head. Just close your eyes and focus. In which, Isuku is in this large space sur surrounded by nothingness except he sees a cage. Him looking deeper in it, he sees Kuruma. As well as a big old seal on that gate. Why do you let them treat you like that? I tried fighting back, but I was too weak. Hmm. How about this? Let me out. Give you control. And, you know, I can uh, give you some assistance. No. Huh? You want to hurt them. Well... Yes, pretty much. Yeah, why? Why is that a problem? I don't want them to be hurt. I just want to be a hero. Uh, excuse me. You don't want to hurt them? After they hurt you? Why? Because the best thing to do besides hurting someone is to prove them wrong. How old are you? Five. You are... wise beyond your years. Then again, it could be because you're a child of innocence. I, have, I propose a, a deal. Huh? You want to make a deal with me? I could eat you right now. I could kill you so easily. Yeah, but I you haven't done anything, so you can't be all bad it's because of this seal. I would if I could, but I can't. This one? This piece of paper? Yes. I swear if I had a chance I would kill you right here, right now, as he Ezekiel just grabs hold of of it and tears it off. Groom being freed, he's like, what, what are you doing? I'm freeing you. Why? I just said I can and will kill you. How? I don't believe you will. Uh, what? You don't seem like a bad person. I am not a person. I am a tailed beast that can destroy a village easily. It took petty tricks to beat me. Is yes, Izuku is pretty much. Well, why did you try to destroy the vill a village? Uh. Mm. I was placed under a genjutsu. What's that? Um, we don't just sing down. It's, it's kind of like hypnosis. Like, oh, so you didn't want to, but you were pretty much forced to do it. Yeah. Yes. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, how are you so nice? Seriously, where's the anger? Where's the hurt? Is yeah, Zuku's just smiling, saying, "I'm just happy to have someone 
to talk to. Oh, you are too pure for this world. What the hell? No one is that nice. What the hell? This is weird. Uh, wait, you said there was a deal, right? Yeah. Okay, let me hear it. Really? Yeah, I, I, you pretty much took me by surprise. You caught me off guard, so I should at least hear you out. Huh. Is there a way for us both to be in control? What? Yeah, think of it like, um... What's it called? A fusion. Yeah! Um... I'm not sure about that. Uh, if we fuse, we might not be able to unfuse. That could be very dangerous. Are you sure? Yeah, I trust you. Why? You, you just met me. How can you trust me so easily? I don't see you as a bad person. I am not a... Kid, you are too nice, too trusting. You are innocent as hell. How are you... Do you really just... Try to see the good in everybody? Of course. No one's born evil. What? Yeah. It's the circumstances, their upbringing, their environment that could actually turn them into what they are now. You brag about being able to destroy a village, saying that you can kill me, you will kill me, but you haven't done anything malicious. And then again, that you said it was because you were placed on a type of hypnosis, so... It's not your fault. What the? <clears throat> so you're okay with this whole fusion thing? Sure. I, I can't believe you're so trusting. This, this makes no sense. Well, do we have a deal? Izuku holding out his hand. Kuruma looking down at it is like, is this really happening? Him just... Okay, fine, we have a deal. But for a fusion to work, we're... whose consciousness is going to be, you know, present at all times? What? Think of it like this. If we do this, yes, our bodies will be fused into this. <sighs> God knows how old it's going to look, but who's going to be in control? Both of us. <coughs> <coughs> what? Yeah, I said, why don't we both have control? You're serious? Uh-huh. You're... Oh my God, you are serious. Of course. How are you? you know what? Yeah. <sighs> fine. Fine, fine, fine. <laughs> You're interesting, kid. I can at least say that. <sighs> it's a deal. In which this whole fusion process takes around two to three hours for it to be fully complete. Inko is already gone to find Izuku since it, Yeah, it's a long time to be gone. When she sees the amount of aura chakra that's building around him, the whole sphere that's encased Izuku, she's terrified. But as soon as she just runs past through the barrier, it's she sees him floating. As nine tails start to protrude from him and 
as well as fox ears. As soon as it's complete, Izuku and Kurua are one. But they're both shocked to not only see their new look, but also, hi mom. Is this is your mother. Yes. Huh. How is she gonna react to this? Is she gonna be terrified of you? As yes, Inko just hugs Izuku. He's like, I was so worried. Why didn't you come home? Uh, how long was I? Hmm. Three hours. Oh, oh dear. I, oh, I, I am very sorry. Is yes. She's not freaking out about the ears or the tails or. It's just, uh, mom, look! I think I got my quirk. Huh? Oh, oh yeah, that, that's that's nice. Just please don't make me wait that long again, please. Uh, what is it, Krima? She she just brushed it aside like it was nothing. this woman my mom well technically our mom is then both Kuruma and Izuku notice something do you notice wait is that a chakra signature them sensing it within Inko because yeah she's been trying to wake them up for at least 10 minutes. And still being inside that chakra barrier. Yeah, that has a few effects. So, so who's your friend? Huh? Well, I hear someone else. And as she looks closer at Izuku. And she sees Kuruma. She's like, but wait, <gasps> wait, is that your quirk? I can see it. It's like, quirk? My name is Kuru. Wait, you can see me? Zuko's. You can see him? Oh, uh, um, yes. Wait, Kuruma, uh, please explain this. As, yeah, Karuna does get an explanation of his backstory and how, yeah, he somehow found his way here. Which is like, oh, you poor thing. I am so sorry to hear that. What? Huh. But you're welcome anytime. Just please be careful. We don't need you being put under any more genjutsus, that could be very problematic for you. Uh, if only you could build your resistance or something towards it or something, but... What? You heard what I did. You heard my backstory. And it's, yeah, but it wasn't your fault you destroyed the village. You were put under hypnosis. Kuro just looking at Inko. And Izuku's just... Like, oh my god, no wonder you're such a cinnamon roll. This woman is at fault. It's your fault. What? What? No wonder he's so innocent. Good god, he's... Well, thank you. Uh, well, that technically is a compliment, but damn! Damn, woman, are you... How are you so nice? raised you well my parents they were very kind and loving people okay that that's crazy so either way yeah I'm gonna be technically your son's quirk or at least he decided that we should split you know ownership of this vessel so hmm you know what would actually be helpful? What? Oh god, what? 
I'm just saying. You have nine tails. Want to try to mm, sever one, and that way you can possibly use that. Say, so what are you trying to say? You, you will. Oh, I get it. If I can focus enough, and when it comes to using this power, I could possibly make you a vessel in which you can inhabit. The only thing is, I would have to make it perfect so you could, in theory, rejoin with me. Like, when you have one tail as the, what's it, should it be called, avatar or vessels? Um, what? Think about it. If we give you your own vessel, say like, when... I take away one tail that's on our body now, and you take that tail, and so on and so forth, to a point where, are you serious? That's ridiculous. Do you know what that would, would require? No, what? You would have to, that's, you're, what you're saying is Literally creating a body for me, so I wouldn't need your interference. Do you know how crazy that is? Um, no, not 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 really. Do <sighs> I will admit. That would be nice. It it's certainly possible. But to do that, the amount of chakra required, the sheer magnitude that would be needed to make a new Oh dear. Okay, let's just Think of it like this. You would require, possibly, if anything, the, let's see, I, I remember, uh, ah, right, yang, yang release. What's that? It's a type of creation-esque thing you it's very hard to master, and if anything, it exists outside of the whole five basic elemental chocolate natures. <sighs> Seriously, it's like granting life. This actually. That's what my, that's how we were born. What? Yes, me and my siblings, that's how we were created. Through yin yang release. So you're actually thinking, do you know how crazy this is? No, I don't. You're essentially making me a vessel, so I, this is too weird. How did you come up with this, just upon meeting me? I... I'm sorry? Don't apologize. Don't you dare apologize. But uh, you seem upset. I'm not. If anything, I'm just shocked that you actually came up with this. And, and that you're, you're literally so open to allowing me free reign. You just met me. I told you, how, guys, how dangerous I am. I don't... This, wow. Thank goodness I inhabited your body instead of someone who was batshit crazy. Honestly, thank you. Thank you whoever decided to do this. Oh, oh goodness. Okay. 
First things first, the Ying Ying release is advanced, very advanced. So, first things first, you're going to need training, and a lot of it.